Hey guys, there are a couple of people out there who ask sometimes what's been going on at the old farmhouse, what the unskilled labourer has been up to. So sometimes we get some decent sized jobs that we show you, sometimes there's just little projects going on. In this case, this is an old ashtray, an ashtray that had been made out of a piece of bamboo, been lying around in the shed. It always looked like it had a bit of potential, but it was sort of a sad piece of rubbish, really. So I gave it a clean up just to have a look at the, how it came up. It seemed alright, but it had this rusty tin set into it. Someone had spent a bit of time doing it. The tin had been properly made and then set into the bamboo, but it was sort of rusty and dodgy and smelly and disgusting, so... Just for something to do, really. Just because this is a, a piece that either needed to be thrown away or had something done to it. So, pulled the tin out. You see it's rusty and dodgy. And then the natural segment in between the two halves, you know, the segment, natural bamboo segment in there still in there so decided to knock that out no real plan little projects like this that, that just sort of happen often start with no clear plan because <laughs> you don't really know until you get started on it what, what's going to happen so out the back in this shed some of you might remember this shed has some old things in it and some of those big wooden rice, old style rice steamers and that, these are lids lids off the old rice steamers so there's sort of a variety of them there things like this as we've done clean ups some stuff like that we've thrown away some things we've kept something enjoyable about taking something that could be rubbish and turning it into something that's slightly useful. The last project that we did that was similar to this was to take one of those old rice buckets and make it into a umbrella rack for in the Genkan, for in the entrance to the, to the house. And that worked rather well. There's something nice about that, taking something that really would just be rubbish. So I picked out one of those rice steamer lids and it was sort of falling apart a bit so I did some alterations so again these little projects the, the rule is we have to do it with whatever we have so we don't go buy anything we just do it with whatever we happen to have so I cut the top part off that metal tin cleaned it out cut the rusty bit off So again, when it comes to projects like this, we're pretty stingy. There's something good about taking old things that would be rubbish and turning them into something that's mildly useful, but it's even better if you can do it without spending any money at all. So just using the bits and pieces that we have lying around already. The tin was just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the blade. <laughs> But it worked. So I cut the rusty bit off. Bit better. Gave it a clean up. And then again, all the bolts, screws, everything else that was being used here, we already had a piece of wood. Put a piece of wood underneath it just to make it a bit heavier and to hold it together. Give it a bit more strength. Not that it's going to need it, but it's just, just something that the unskilled dude does. So keeping in mind too, this dude's an unskilled labourer, right? So he's putting a bolt in the bottom. One bolt in through the centre and then one screw just to stop it rotating. 
Occasionally we'll get someone to watch something like this and say, you shouldn't do that, you don't know what you're doing. The, the key is this is an unskilled labourer. These aren't videos on how to do things. These are just videos on how this unskilled guy does things. So that's some wood stain. Again, it was left over for another job. Just happened to be sitting around. Hit it up with some wood stain. Yep, no skill at all. <laughs> So the whole project took uh, about three hours probably. There was no hurry. It was sort of done at a gentle pace. A few interruptions from sundry small people. <laughs> That's why the old guy's not talking to himself, you see. <laughs> so we're up to the before and after shots, guys. Just this little project, little silly project. That's what it looked like before. It was rubbish, really. Came close to being thrown away a few times, that thing. That's what it looks like now. So there wasn't really any plan for it. A couple of people have have put their hands up saying they wanted to use it for different things. One person wants to keep their butterfly nets and things because their butterfly nets and long objects won't fit in their toy box. They want to just put this next to their outside toy box. Their outside toy box is under cover out of the rain, but it's outside just to put butterfly net poles and things in. A couple of other people have put their hands up for it as well. <laughs> Someone will use it for something, which is better than it being rubbish. So anyway... There it was. More videos coming soon.